Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Merge Dragons, and the Year of the Ox event is about to begin. Hey, Romina. Hey, Toronto Bonnie. Hey, Cool Fire. Welcome, everybody. I hope everybody's having a fabulous day. Oh, yeah. We've got three seconds for the event to start, and I'm so excited. This is going to be an awesome weekend. Yas, queen. Here we go. The rewards available are we've got a turtle egg, a vermilion dragon tree, another turtle egg, a nest of Zeus dragon eggs, another turtle egg, the elder fruit tree, the nest of turtle dragon eggs there, the bonsai, the artful bonsai tree, which should spawn initially for deer eggs. We've also got the level three Zeus dragon and the level four wise turtle dragon. Let's get this started. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm sending so many positive energies out there. How's everybody doing? Oh, yeah. What's up, everybody? Hey, Tanvi. Hey, Little Lazy Death. Hey, Latanya. Hey, David. What's up? Yo, what's up, Plum Crazy Sky? How's it going? Oh, yeah. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Comfy. Hey, Linda. Hello, hello, hello. Hey Vicky, hey Cindy, hey Claire AR, hey Elizabeth, hey Haley, hey Marcy, oh thank you so much, yeah that's right, I'm back, oh yeah, hey Stephanie, what's going on, hey welcome everybody, hey I missed everyone as well, I'm so glad to be back and we are going to be having so much fun here today. Hey, Victoria. Hey, Zednami. Hey, Diane. Hey, D. Hey, everybody. Hey, Regina. Hey, NB. Hey, Chloe. Hey, DK. What's going on, everybody? Oh, yeah. Hey, Ashworth Gamings. Oh, I missed you too, darling. Hey, Toya. What's going on? Hey, Little Miss Mel. Hey, Jules. Hey, Janet. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, Janet. Oh, yeah. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Hey, Christy. Hey, RC. Hey, Panther City Paula. Are you ready to merge? I know I am. Oh, yeah. Here are the first three quests of the game. Are oh, merge five of anything 150 times. Here we have to harvest from the twin life flower 200 times and heal 35 pieces of land. We're used to seeing these first three initial quests here. So let's get this party started. Oh yeah. Here, first things first, we're gonna make our first dragon. We're gonna merge those three rock dragon eggs and we've got that pink life flower. So we can already start harvesting those life essence. Here, we just got our first one, and it looks like it's also going to be the first Mystic Cloud. We're going to go ahead, taking screenshots, because you know I'm going to be working on the website. Here, we unlock the first Mystic Cloud with the Life Essence. Next up, that's going to be a pink Life Flower. So here, we can do a quick five merge, and we got a merge on the perimeter, so healing a little bit of land. Here, mm, yep. We're going to go ahead, we're going to launch that tiny life orb there, and ooh, we just unlocked the one-time offer. I'm going to skip this for now, we're going to keep focused on the game, and then we're going to see where the wind blows. Let's see what's going on, hope everybody's having a beautiful day, thank you so much for tuning in, hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Oh yeah, looking good. Yas queen. Oh yeah, let's see what's going on here. Um I think that maybe RC Rainier was accidentally put in timeout. Sorry about that there. Um uh, I don't think there was a reason for you to be in timeout. I'm doing my best to catch up with the live stream chat, but you know, it's a busy Friday and we're going to do our best to keep everything going. Hey, RC, um, you're all good in my book, so we're just going to keep merging it up here and sending tons of positive energies. Yeah. What's going on? Hey, Mirage. Hey, Raphael. Hey, Stella. Hello, V. What's going on? Hey, welcome, everybody. So the Year of the Rat event has just begun. We've got our first Mystic Cloud, which was the Life Essence. And here we're going to have our second Mystic Cloud, which is this pink Life Flower. Here, a little screenshot for the website, toastyboutique.com. 
we've got that and we just unlocked the next mystic cloud here gonna take a quick screenshot there and let's take a little bit of a we're gonna zoom out look from far away and then see what's going on yeah looking good everybody did yeah hey so that's going great there oh and here i've got the pink life flower selected so our dragon can't harvest it there we go perfect so that's going fabulous here if we take a quick look that likes that looks like the broken columns of the ancient objects chain that looks like the bushy autumn tree this looks like the purple twin flowers in the forgotten flowers right there we've got our first turtle dragon egg in the first you know hour or so the first goals are going to be to make that twin life flower and to get our second dragon so here we've got our first turtle egg right there and uh slowly zooming around oop there's that second turtle dragon egg right there and the third i know i get asked a lot where are the three eggs so i'm going to take a quick screenshot of that so i can circle those later yeah hey what's going on hey everybody hey it's the year of the ox event i hope everybody's having a beautiful day sending tons of positive energies out there oh yeah Hey, David. Hello, 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 Nids. What's going on? Hey, Fran. How's it going? And uh, there's a quick question from Arissa. Are you sponsored by Merge Dragons? Nope. I'm just your ordinary girl in pajamas who loves to merge it up. I'm a big fan of the game. Um, you know, uh, technically, I make videos on YouTube. I don't work for anybody. The only person I work for is my kitty cat, Peanut. And I know a bunch of people are probably wondering, how is Peanut doing? Well, Peanut, my cat, is doing amazing. She is so happy that she got to spend so much time with me. And, well, I'm happy I got to spend some time with my kitty cat, Peanut. Yeah, we're doing great. And, yes, I am well, well rested and so excited to get this party started. Happy New Year, everybody, and happy Chinese New Year a little bit in advance there. Yeah, let's keep it going, everybody. Woo! Hey, I've been playing for a little bit over two years in Merge Dragons. I'm not the best player out there, but, you know, I'm not the shabbiest either. And, you know, most of all, most of all when it comes to gaming, you know, my number one goal is to have fun. Of course, we want to get all the rewards, but, you know, gaming is all about having fun, and that's really what I go for. Yeah. So here, I'm going to keep these merges going. We've got the Mystic Lanterns. The level one Mystic Lantern, and these are the point items. Here we've got the Drum Lamp. There's the level two Lampion. Here we've got the Trio of Lampions. Level three, the level four Lotus Lamp. The level five Jade Turtle Lamp. Here we've got the level six Festive Carp Lamp. The level seven Sensuous Swan Lamp there. The level eight Happy Panda Lamp the level nine white tiger lamp, and last but not least, the furious dragon lamp. Now, I already mentioned a couple things in my teaser video that I made on Wednesday, but long story short, Merge Dragons, the events, now require 65,000 points to get all 10 of the rewards. So this weekend, I'm going to be aiming for two of the level 10 furious dragon lamps. They're each worth 40,000 points. So if we get two of those, we're going to be in the clear with no stress. Oh, no, my dear. Yeah. Let's see what's next here. So here, uh, ba -ba -ba. here I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pop another tiny orb. I just want to get a little bit of healing going on. Beautiful. Here we've got that. Uh, I think I'm going to make a five merge with those Tanzania Plains grass there. Beautiful. Oh, uh, let's see. Here we've got these uh, drum lamps. So with those, I'm going to do my best. I really like making merges on the perimeter. And what that means is when I have land that isn't healed, like that drum lamp right there, I like to make merges, air quotes, on the perimeter to go ahead and heal it there. So that way we don't have to use our orbs, but we can still manage to keep on moving through the heals. 
Oh, yeah. What's up, everybody? Hey, L. Happy Friday. How's it going? Oh, yeah. Hey, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. I hope everybody had a, an amazing week, and I hope you're having the best Friday. Yas queen. We're just getting this started. We are going to be merging it up today, and my schedule is just a little bit different than usual. Um, it's kind of the same, but I'm taking it easy. I don't want to, you know, go too crazy in the beginning. So we've got the live stream here today. Now, normally I do a live stream in the evening around 8 p.m., but honestly, I mean, I kind of wake up early and I go to bed early. So that live stream is kind of hard for me to maintain. I spent the month of January really focusing on recharging my battery. And, uh, you know, just for the sake of, you know, health and staying fully charged, you know, I'm not going to be doing the Friday night live stream this weekend. There's still going to be the Saturday live stream at 2 p.m. New York time. That's 23 hours into the event. We're going to have the 2 p.m. live stream on Sunday as usual. And then Monday, we'll be wrapping up the event together and doubling our rewards from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. So there's still going to be a couple videos um, that I will be releasing. So that's not all that is going to be happening. But that's all the live streams that are going to be happening for this weekend. So if ever you miss anything, don't worry about it. The live streams will be available in playback. Here, I'm going to do a little bit of a combo real quick. And I want to get these merges going on. Let's see. Hmm. Where's our next merge going to go? Kind of want to get that Tanzania Plains grass right there. Not too shabby. Let's keep harvesting this. Mm, okay. So here, I'm going to do a four merge with those Ruby Plains grass. We're going to have a leftover Ruby Plains grass, and we're starting to heal into the map. Here, we're going to keep on harvesting those essence, and I want to make another perimeter merge right there. Yeah, looking good, beautiful, yas queen. So here, we're starting to get this going. It's moving nice and smoothly. I am sending so many positive energies out there to everybody. I hope everybody's having a fabulous day, and I hope that you're having fun. Yas queen. Oh, yeah. Here, if we go a little bit further on the map, we've got the Golden Capsule, the Fallen Star, and the Mystery Nest. We're used to seeing all of those, and usually those three items are at the end of the map. And there's that Mystery Nest right there. Let's see. Ooh, here we've got that, uh, that tree right there. We've got the 2x2 two two item, which is going to give us a bunch of point items to help us get two of those level 10. And I'm looking for the other, hmm, interesting. Where's the gold? Oh, there it is. So the fallen star's right there. The mystery nest is up top in the right corner. And the golden capsule is in the bottom right corner. Super cool. So we're going to be needing about six life orb of heavens to heal the entire map. So... You know, my technique, I really like to get those orbs and then focus on the point items. If we keep moving along the map, hmm, that kind of looks like a cute little teddy bear. Or could it be the panda lamp? If we check this out real quick in the point items, yep, that looks like the level 8 happy panda lamp. Pretty sure that's going to be unlocking the mystic cloud over here. If we look at that one, that looks like the level 10 of the ancient objects, the smallest temple in the world, or I think it's called something like that. That looks like that golden, the fancy autumn tree. Oh, that looks like the golden columns of the ancient objects there. That looks like the moon flower of the forgotten flowers. And that looks like the mystical autumn tree. Beautiful. Here we've got a turtle dragon egg in the top left corner, and the other one is right over here. And the first one that we're going to be finding is early on in the map. Yeah. So here we've got this going on. We're making some good merges, and let's keep this progress going. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Keep it going. Oh, yeah. 
Here, ooh, what it is. Here we're gonna keep harvesting those. Awesome. Here we got that right there. Let's see. Keep harvesting those orbs. Gonna make a quick five merge. And ooh, I see a combo. I love making combos. It's a great way to get some extra orbs without launching uh, any healing power in the beginning. So here we can line up those purple orbs right there. We're gonna drop that in the center and Buttes McGee, here we go. Next up here, dun dun dun. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna use that combo bubble, try to get that Tanzanite Plains grass. And I think I'm gonna go right there with the Ruby Plains grass, awesome. Beautiful, yes. So here we got another Essence, and that's going to be our next Perimeter Merge. So here, keep on harvesting, little dragon. Yeah. And we're going to wait for that Essence there. Next, I'm going to drop the Tanzanite Plains Grass right where that Essence is. So we're going to heal that with this merge that we're about to make. Patang, Yas Queen, looking fantastic. Beautiful. Next up, there we go. We're going to do the Tanzanite Plains Grass Merge right there. Awesome. And, oh, let's see. Oh, yes. Okay, Ruby Plains Grass. We can make a fantastic merge right there. And we just unlocked the secret, the Year of the Ox Capsules. These are going to be great for getting an, a couple extra items. So, like, there we've got that. And I can already see we're going to use that Level 2 Lampion right over here. So I'm going to move that out of the way. Be careful to not get any accidental merges, although they happen. So if, if, if ever you have any accidental merges, don't worry about it. Yeah, here we go. So we've got that. That's looking fantastic. We've got another drum lamp over here and we can make a five merge right there. So we're making our way cruising through this map with those merges. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, let's see here. I want to get another essence. Right there, we're going to drop it. The pink star, you can tap that. That's going to give you a bunch of extra items. And the pink stars, you can't bring back to your camp. So you definitely want to take advantage of them here in the event map. Uh, I'm going to move those out of the way. Next up. Ooh, and looks like we finished our first quest of healing 35 pieces of land. Next is going to be 350. It's going to take a little bit of time, but we've got three days to do it. And it's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. Here, I want one more life essence. We're going to get that five merge on the perimeter there. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, I want to give a big shout out to all the moderators out there and to all the members. Thank you so much for all your support and all your help. I really, really appreciate it. And I mean, I, I, there aren't words enough to express how thankful I am for all of your support and all of, you know, the time and effort that you take into helping me with these live streams. So thank you so much to the moderators and to all the members out there. You rock. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Let's see where our next merge is going to be. Here we've got that lampion or the drum lamp over here. And I think, yep, here from the Jin Chan statues, we're going to be able to get some more of the drum lamps. So we're going to line those up for our next merge. Beautiful. If ever you're more uh, new to the game, this might seem like I'm going a little bit fast here. So you can always rewatch the live streams in playback and follow along step by step. These events are not easy and they definitely have gotten even more difficult recently. So just take it one little step at a time. And you can always check out my website, Toasted Boutique, where I have step-by-step -step guides to help you cruise through these events. Beautiful. So we're making some good progress here. I want to keep making those perimeter merges. And ooh, okay, so here we're going to get that essence. We're going to make a merge there. And then next, I'm going to merge those green emerald plains grass. Here, I'm keeping my dragon focused. I'm double tapping that pink life flower and we are crushing it. Oh, Yas Queen. Hey, thank you, D. Thanks, everybody. What's going on? Beautiful. Looking good, everybody. Yeah. Here, we've got another essence. 
that's looking fabulous there. Awesome. We're going to get this lined up. And we almost have our five merge. Yuppers, here we go. Here, we're going to bring this essence on down. We're going to drop that essence right there. We've got a five merge with those orbs. I'm going for it. And next, I'm going to go ahead, grab the Emerald Plains Grass, and we're going to drop that for a merge right there. So we just healed a couple more pieces of land without using any healing power, and we're making a great way through this maze. Yeah, what's up? Hope everybody's having a fine apple day. Oh, yeah. What's up, Zero Access? Hey, I'm sending tons of love out there, tons of positive energies to everybody. I hope you're feeling those good vibes, and I hope you're having fun. Yeah. Beautiful. So here, we're doing great. We're moving through this. We need a couple more of those Tanzanite Plains grass, though. I haven't healed those just yet. Maybe if we get a couple more combo bubbles, that'll be just what we need. Hmm. We've got a couple trios. Oh, perfect. Okay, we have four of these trio level three point items. I'm going to line up those trios right there, and we're going to make a five merge with those. Yes. Beautiful. Mm -mm. Okay, next. So here I'm looking at it. When it comes to the Emerald Plains grass, if we could make our way through these two pieces, then we could make a five merge with those Emerald Plains grass. So I'm going to try to get Ruby Plains grass and make a three merge right there. We've got our first one here. Perfect. Hmm. Very interesting. Where are the ruby plains grass i might not have one at the moment so we'll just have to heal a little bit more of the land let's see that's not too shabby okay well i'm gonna take a chance here i don't always do this but i'm gonna launch that purple orb it's gonna be pretty easy to heal the beginning of the map here because it's only two uh two you know healing power that it takes for each square yeah Hey, what's up, Miss Cabby? Hey, everybody. Looking good. Hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Oh, yeah. Here, we've got a beautiful merge with those Tanzanite Plains grass. Awesome. Yeah. And here, I'm going to go for that next merge with those Tanzanite Plains grass there. If ever you're new to my channel, I'm all about respect. It's the number one thing. So... You know, I really appreciate everybody being so kind. And if ever you have something, you know, that isn't kind to say, just keep it to yourself. Um, you know, the couple rules that I have on my channel is uh, we all stay respectful and treat each other with kindness. If ever there's any disrespect, well, that's something we don't tolerate. So usually people that are disrespectful get blocked pretty quickly. Another thing is no spamming. So I know that's not like your ordinary gaming channel, possibly. So there is a little bit of a learning curve. But um, just a quick reminder, uh, please don't repeat comments. There's no need to write stuff in all caps. I, you know, am not actually reading the live stream chat at the moment. So um, yeah, uh, you know, I'm just doing my best to merge it up here. Friday live streams are always pretty busy. So if ever you want to chat with me, make sure to tune in. Uh, on Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Those live streams are a little bit calmer and it's a lot more easy for me to keep up with the live stream chat. But if you want to chat today, we're going to be live streaming for at least an hour, probably, you know, another 45 minutes. I always end up going over the 60 minutes. So if you have any questions, save them for the end. Maybe I'll answer them along the way. And if I don't answer them along the way, then we'll have a little bit of a Q&A at the end. We'll take the last five, 10 minutes to really go over any questions anybody might have left over. So don't worry about it. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Y'all queen. Beautiful. So here we're making some progress and let's get back. I want to do a nose dive into these merges. I still want that Ruby Plains grass. I didn't get it with my heel earlier. And, well, those orbs never go where you want them to, eh? Let's see. Here, we're going to try this. And, yes, we got it. We're going to take this Ruby Plains grass over here. We're going to drop that beauty right there. We made the heel that I was talking about earlier. Next, I'm going to get those drum lamps. 
So we're going to take these drum lamps over here, carefully line them up for a five merge, and there we go. Awesome. Here we've got the next merge that I was looking to make with the Emerald Plains grass. So we're cruising through this map. It's going really good so far. Beautiful. Uh, da, 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 da. Here we've got the wild Tanzanite plains grass over here. I'm going to drop that for a beautiful five merge right there. Next up, I think we're going to go for those emerald plains grass. Awesome. So that makes a three merge. We're healing that. And we're just kind of zigzagging our way through the map. We're going to want to keep progressing here and get those turtle eggs. You could always launch an orb as well if you want to heal directly upwards. I don't really have that much luck when it goes to launching those orbs, so I'm just going to keep on making these merges along the perimeter here. Um, and one thing about this game, one of the things that I find really beautiful is that there are so many different techniques and ways that you can approach the game and still get the same results. So maybe my technique works for me, it may not work for you. So really experiment with those techniques and find what speaks to you. There are so many different var varieties, uh, varieties in this game and it's a lot of fun. And you know, you could just take so many different approaches to getting those rewards. So keep it going, keep on merging and having fun. Yeah. Here we're making some awesome progress. Uh, let's see, where do I want to go next here? Bum, bum, bum. I think I want to get one of those lamps. Do we have any more of those? Here we've got a drum lamp right there. We've got a third one over here. I'm going to uh, quickly move that uh, sprout out of the way there. Awesome. And we've got this over here. This is a lucky carp statue. It won't do anything unless you tap on it. And when you tap on it, it's going to give you more of the Jin Chan statues. These statues, we're going to be able to harvest those drum lamps. So I'm going to harvest those a little bit so we can complete our five merge on the right hand side. Beautiful. Here we've got a five merge right there. Love it. Hmm. Interesting. Do I want to go for that Tanzanite? I think I do. So here, I'm going to take those blue Tanzanite Plains grass, merge those together, move that a little bit over there. And yes, we've got another Ruby Plains grass. So I'm going to take this red grass over here and drop that for a five merge. Awesome. So here, this is going great. We've made a lot of progress. We've got a couple merges that I can easily find on the map. But I've also made a little bit of a mess. So I'm going to start cleaning it up. Here we've got these life flower sprouts, and we can merge those together to make the pink life flowers. I mentioned earlier that I'm going to be aiming in this first, you know, segment here to get that twin life flower. So here we're going to be aiming for the twin life flower. We're going to be making as many five merges as we can until we get that level five flower there. Ooh, purple orb. Okay, so here we've got that purple orb, and I think I see our next move. I'm going to try to line up a combo with the turquoise orbs as well. And if we drop that right there, line that up right there, get that going on there, we got this. So here we've got those purple orbs, we're going to drop it in the center, and we got our combo. Yeah, rock on. So here, we're doing a great job. We're getting some beautiful progress. Hmm, where's our next merge gonna go? I think I'm gonna go for the Emerald Plains grass. So I'm gonna take this grass over here, drop that right there, beautiful. Next, we're gonna take the level two Lampion, and we're gonna bring these together, and putzang, we got our next five merge. Beautiful. Here, we've got some more plains grass we can merge along the way. Interesting. Where am I going to go next? Oh, one thing I forgot that is very important. Here, the bamboo shrubs. 
I mentioned this in the teaser video. You know, in the teaser video, I broke down all of the basic tips that you can need in this event. One thing I mentioned was to not merge the bamboo shrubs too soon. That's a technique that I really like. I know not everybody uses this technique, but one thing, like I mentioned, is I like to focus on my orbs first. Of course, I'm not gonna get rid of my point items, but I'm not gonna focus on them in the beginning. So I want to avoid merging the bamboo shrubs. Once I get my orbs, then it's all good. We can go ahead and start merging. Here, once you get the budding, blo uh, the budding blossom tree, level two, you can harvest the drum lamps from them. So that's gonna be a great technique to get those extra points, but you really gotta go step by step. So if I get the budding blossom tree right now, that's just gonna distract my dragons and they're gonna be harvesting drum lamps, orbs, and we're not gonna be focusing on the orbs. And I really want my dragons to stay focused there. Yeah, beautiful. Here we got that going on, Butes McGee. Here we got a five merge right there, love it. We've got a couple of these over here, the Lampion. So we're gonna go ahead and make a five merge there. Beautiful. Awesome. Hey, so here we're making some great progress. It's looking good. And da 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 da, where's our next merge gonna be? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so there we've got a couple items. Let's see. Here we've got a bunch of sprouts, and I'm going to keep on merging these. And when you merge the life flowers, it launches off a little bit of healing power. So instead of using the combo bubbles, that's going to help me heal this early land. Here in the beginning, it's only like two to heal, four to heal. It's relatively easy to heal the beginning of the map. But once we get further into the map, it's a lot more difficult. Here, it goes up to 5,000, and there's even some tiles like the Mystery Nest, the Fallen Star, and the Golden Capsule, which are 50,000 healing power. That's a lot of healing power. If you count that 50,000 times three, that's 150,000. That's basically half a life orb of heavens. So that's going to be a lot of healing power, and why I recommend getting six life orb of heavens. Ooh, here we go. Let's start these merges. So that's looking fabulous there. Here, we've got those orbs. We've got a couple essence over here. I want to keep on harvesting for sure. Here we got that pink life flower right there. Beautiful. And a couple sprouts there. Can we make another five merge with the life flower sprouts? Mmm. Okay, so we're one sprout short. Here, I'm going to keep on harvesting. Keep this going on. Beautiful. Hey, congratulations, everybody. Keep it going. Hey, looking good, everybody. Sounds like you are all crushing it. Hey, love to hear it. Keep those merges going. You've got this. Oh, yeah. Here, I want to get that essence. Oh, yas queen. We're going to make a five merge right there. Next, we're going to bring these uh, tiny life orbs there, and we've got our next five merge. Perfect. So we're getting a bunch of great healing power there. Here we've got a couple more of the drum lamps, so we can make a five merge there. Awesome. That's looking real good here. Our dragon's going to be harvesting. Mm -mm -mm. And, oh, tricky. So there, I'm looking for a ruby plants grass, and I'm not finding it. We've got one there, and okay, there's a couple of ruby plains grass there. So maybe I'll launch another little orb. We'll see where the wind blows. That's about 10 healing power. Eh, I'm gonna take a chance. Let's see if this gives us the heal we're looking for. And yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Here, we've got the ruby plains grass. That's what I was looking for. And I wanna go ahead and drop that ruby plains grass right there. Awesome. Beautiful. Next up, we're going to be looking for the Tanzania Plains grass. Uh, so we're close, but not quite yet there. Let's see. Tanzania, those are about four each. 
Huh. Ooh, and we got the next sprout. Okay, perfect. So here, I'm going to go ahead and make a five merge with those life flower sprouts. We're going to make a five merge with those pink life flowers right there. And here, we're going to move along those blue life flowers. So we're so close to having our next five merge. Uh, we can harvest that real quick. Maybe harvest some more blue life flowers, get some more essence going on. Yas, queen. Beautiful. Hey, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day, sending tons of positive energies out there. What's up, everybody? Hey, keep it going on. I hope everybody's feeling those positive energies and keeping it positive in the live stream chat because that's what we're all about. Good vibes, positive energies, and having a good time. Hey, just catching up real quick. Hey, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Hey, Merging Magpies. Hey, Judith. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hope everybody's having a great day. Oh, yeah. Ooh, let's see if we can keep on serving up these merges. Here, we've got a five merge with those Essence. And I really want to get my paws on that Tanzania right there. Oh, here I see a relatively easy merge. We're going to take these drum lamps and we're going to drop them right there. Awesome. So that's going great. Still want to get my hands on a Tanzanian Plains grass. One thing that you can do to get some extra combo bubbles is also merging those point items. So like here we've got the level 2 Lampion. We're going to take the Lampion and the drum lamps. We're going to line those up for a combo. And harvest one more there. We're going to drop the next drum lamp right in the center to make another combo. So here, we're going to drop that. And, ooh, okay. Oh, combo. So the combo absorbed the, uh, the extra level two lamp, which I, I like a little bit less. But what you going to do? Still a beautiful combo. And I'll take that combo bubble. Let's cash it in and start healing this map. Beautiful. Awesome. Uh, da, 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 that's looking great. We almost got that healed. Let's see. Here we got a couple more statues over here. And that is going well. Here, I want to harvest those statues. I'm getting rid of the distractions. So there, we got that cleared. And now we can keep on focusing on those orbs. Awesome. Here, we got that going on. Uh, perfect. We're going to keep harvesting a couple orbs, slowly but surely. And uh, ba -ba -ba, let's see. Still want to get that tanzanite. So, going to keep on harvesting the blue life flowers. Here, we're going to be able to make a five merge with those essence. And I'm going to try to line up another, days, clumsy thumbs. <laughs> I'm going to try to line up another um, combo with the essence here. Now, clumsy thumbs. Sometimes your thumbs aren't going to do exactly what your brain wants them to do. It's okay. I mean, I joke about being an alien sometimes, but we're all human. And clumsy thumbs happens. So don't let it get you down. Just take a deep breath and keep on merging. You know, in the grand scheme of things, we're going to be getting a lot of orbs this weekend. So a little bit of a clumsy merge isn't the end of the world. So keep on merging on. Stay strong. We've got this. Here we've got the Tanzanite Plains Grass, that one that I was looking for. And I'm so stoked. Beautiful five merge there. We just healed four tiles at once. And here it comes. We're going to make a merge with those Emerald Plains Grass right there. Do we have another ruby? Yeah, come over here, darling. We're going to drop that ruby plains grass right there. And maybe some more drum lamps. Yes, awesome. So here we've got those drum lamps. We're going to be able to line those up as well. Okay, so here, let's see. If I move that sprout back, I move that over here. If I drop an Emerald Plains Grass right there, we're going to be able to get a fabulous combo. Beautiful. So that's awesome there. Here we just got a combo bubble. I'm going to save that for in just a second. And 
Now we've got plenty of space. We're going to go ahead and take those drum lamps, merge those together. Beautiful. I think... What do I want to do next? Do I want to use an Emerald Plains grass? I think so. Here, I'm going to do a quick three merge with those emerald there. Beautiful. Awesome. Hey, looking good. So here, this is going great. We've got a five merge right there. And... Let's see what else is going on. So we got a decent amount of life flowers. We've got the twin flowers there. You know, one thing about this game is you never want to go too fast. I'm very tempted to make a three merge with my Sunday flowers. It'd be pretty easy right there. I'd get the perimeter merge and it'd be great for healing the map. But one thing is you don't want to go too fast in this game. If I make a three merge, I might end up regretting it later on. So, I mean, one you know piece of advice that I like to give out is take your time. We've got 72 hours to do this. You don't want to rush it. And, you know, if you end up making an accidental merge, it could end up blocking you later on in the event. And it might prevent you from getting all of the rewards. So, you know, if you're wondering, eh, should I make a three merge if you're hesitating? Just take a break, don't rush it, and really do the math and confirm that that merge is okay. Um, this is definitely a little bit more advanced, but it's a good, uh, it's a good piece of advice, whether you're a beginner uh, or a noob, uh, uh, you know, a new player, a beginner, uh, or even an advanced player. You want to take your time so you really don't make any accidents because even advanced players if we go too fast we can end up stumbling along the way we just got our first turtle dragon egg there and let's see gonna gain my regain my focus over here and try to calculate my next move there i want to get the ruby plains grass Ooh, okay it's a little bit more to heal Mm, okay, so, eh, you know, ooh, okay, there we go. That one's only four to heal. That is a little bit more up my alley. Here, do we have enough purple orbs? Yes. I'm going to line up those purple orbs. And we're going to drop that combo right there. Here, we got the combo bubble. And we're going to attempt to get the Ruby Plains Grass that only requires four healing power. Yes. And we got it. Ooh, rock on. So here, I'm going to move up the Ruby Plains grass. We're going to bring this right there and drop it like it's hot. Oh, yeah. So great merge there. We're healing some more land. I'm going to move those sprouts out of the way. Here, we're going to get those trio of lampions. Awesome. And yes, here we've got another perimeter merge. So I'm going to take that trio of lampions. And drop it right there. Awesome. So we got another awesome heal. Mm, tins neat. Mm, okay, so we do not have another tanzanite just yet, but we're gonna keep harvesting those orbs. We'll get to it. One thing I do have is the emerald plains grass. So I'm gonna merge those together there. Very cool. We're almost at the second turtle dragon egg. So the third one's over here. I want to keep merging, keep healing, and do my best to get there. I see there's a couple of verges that I want to make sure I save some items for. So like here, we've got emerald plains grass, ruby plains grass. There's a couple of merges that I kind of, you know, I'm feeling them out in advance. And I'm seeing the potential. So I'm going to make sure I have at least a couple left over a couple of the plains grass uh let's see here i'm tempted i think my next merge is going to be with the tanzanite though so let's see here we're going to get another essence keep harvesting Ooh, well this is almost healed yes for once the orb goes where i want it to here we're going to go ahead and take that tanzanite and we're going to drop it right there for a beautiful five merge. Sweet. Here we go. 
Next, we can make a five merge with those life flower sprouts there. And, ooh, next, I'm going to get that emerald plains grass. So we're going to take that green one right there, drop it there. Beautiful. Oh, let's see. Ba -da -da. Here, we're going to be looking for ruby plains grass. Ooh, okay, so there, that one's only four. That's going to be the next one I want to aim for. Here, I'm going to harvest a couple essence, and we're going to see if we can't line up some more combos. I'm already feeling one over here. So double tap that there. Here, we're going to make a five merge with those essence. Beautiful. We're going to bring this essence over here. I'm going to move that egg out of the way. Keep harvesting the essence, and we're going to go for another combo right here. So here we got that. Awesome. Here we got that next essence right there. Beautiful. And, ooh, combo bubble. So we're going for that one. Okay. Uh, you know, just to uh, try to prevent the healing energy from going in the wrong direction, I'm going to drop that right there. Perfect. Here, I'm going to try to line up the combo bubble. Didn't quite go where I wanted, but we got a little bit of healing power. Let's see. So we're making some progress. Uh, da -da -da. I guess I should have saved those lamps for right there. That merge technically would have been more strategic. So that's going good there. Uh, bum, bum, boom. Let's see. Ooh, okay, cool. Here, we've got those pink life flowers from earlier, and I see our next five merge. So I'm going to make a five merge with those pink life flowers there. Oh, and, well, hindsight, <laughs> if I would have made the merge down here, those uh, life flower merges would have cast a little bit of healing power on that ruby plains grass. So that might have been a little bit more strategic, but no biggie. Yes. So here we go. We got that essence. We're going to drop that right there. Keep it going. Get a couple more of these orbs. And, well, right now my gut's telling me to launch that orb. Oh, yes, perfect. So here we got the ruby plains grass that we were looking for. I'm going to drop that beauty right here so we can get that merge on that perimeter. We've got some sprouts coming through. Here, that looks like maybe a purple orb. Uh, correction, maybe a turquoise orb. So let's see here. We're going to try to get another merge, get a couple combos maybe. And I'm going to bring these turquoise orbs over here. Yeah, beautiful. So that's looking fantastic. Here we got that. And with our blue life flowers, we're going to be able to merge those, uh, making a five merge to get our first two glowing life flowers. So I'm going to drop that merge right there. Fantastic. Beautiful. Here, we're going to line up our next combo with those orbs there. Awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, there we go. So there we got that. Looking good. And oh, the glowing life flowers take a little bit longer to harvest, but the higher... Uh, they give you a higher level orb. So now we got that tiny orb. We're going to drop that combo there. We've got two more of the turquoise orbs. So we're going to be able to do our next merge here. Let's see. Here we got that. Beautiful. Ooh, and here we've got some level three trios of lampions. So we could merge those over here, which I'm definitely going to aim for. Oh, do we have another Emerald Plains Grass? Yas Queen. There we go. So we just drop that right there. Mm -hmm. well, I'll take the Cabo Bubble. Let's see if we can get some more of those Plains Grass. Here, yes, we got the Tanzanite. So this is going to be a great merge. Here, I'm going to drop the Tanzanite. And when you do a four merge, you have one of them that's kind of left over. So we just healed three spaces of land, and we still have that Tanzanite Plains grass. I'm going to bring this sprout over here. And let's see. 
This is going pretty good. We want to get a drum lamp for sure. Going to bring that there. Lining up for our next merge. All we need technically is a merge with the drum lamp and a merge with the Emerald Plains grass. And we're going to have access to that third turtle dragon egg. Uh, looking beauts McGee over here. Gonna move that orb there. I'll line up a combo. Here, gonna harvest the glowing life flower. Perfect. And we've got some good progress coming through. Here, I'm gonna harvest the last drum lamp from there. And now our combo is ready to be made. We're gonna drop that. Yas queen, there we go. Here, I'm gonna take the combo bubble. Keep on healing this beginning section of the map. Oh, we got one lamp there. We're one drum lamp short. Interesting. That might be an interesting statue to get as well. So like right here, gonna drop that combo bubble. And eh, we didn't quite get it, but we made some progress. And I'm gonna keep on harvesting those orbs. Keep on making some combos. Ooh, okay, hello. Well, now your girl's starting to get back into the rhythm of things. Uh, here, I'm gonna do a real quick merge, or I mean, a real quick heal. We just got the Emerald Plains grass there. I'm gonna make a four merge with those. Here, we've got those two leaves of a fruit tree. I saw at least uh, three others, yeah. So here, we're gonna make a five merge. Beautiful, healing two pieces of land. And with the fruit tree saplings, we're gonna be able to merge those right there. I'm gonna do my best to make a five merge. So I'm gonna wait. We've got an easy fruit tree sapling right down here, and it shouldn't be too difficult to get some more as well. So let's see here, we got that going on. We're really close to having, I think it's a Crimson Guardian Dog statue. I'm going to take a chance. And yes, we got it. Perfect. So here, this Crimson statue, we're going to be able to harvest it for some more point items. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I just looked up real quick to uh, see what's going on in the live stream chat. <laughs> Gotta say a huge thank you to the moderators once again. Thank you so much for keeping the live stream chat a nice and safe environment. It's really important to me. It means a lot to me and I appreciate it. Thank you, moderators. Um, so it looks like there's a couple questions about how to get free gems. Technically, I've got what I would say is, uh, you know, my, you know, favorite video that I made. It's my how to get free gems video and what to spend them on. In that video, I break down my technique of how to get free gems. So if you're a beginner player, maybe the end of the video might not be as relatable, but you can watch that video and I'm going to break down my technique on how to get free gems. They won't cost you anything except a little bit of hard work and a little bit of time. Now, there's levels like Dread Marsh 3. That's kind of a go-to how to get free gems level. Now, if you've played Dread Marsh 3 over and over and over and you're kind of looking for a change of scenery, then the video that I recommend checking out is um, a video, it's not that old. Um, a while ago, I made a video. It was the top seven fast purple star harvesting levels. So that's gonna be the purple star levels. You can look up that video. It's pretty cool in my biased opinion. And there's another video, which is the top seven purple star levels that will give you, per, uh, that will give you golden chest. That, it's a little bit more advanced, but that's basically taking you from if you're a beginner or even if you're a more advanced player and hopefully breaking down as many techniques. So 
definitely those are going to be videos that you want to check out. Just a quick reminder, this is a spam-free environment, so you don't, say, you don't have to say hello 40 times. Um, you know, shout-outs are for members only, technically, but I'm a relatively nice person most of the time. And, um, you know, usually when it's a little bit calmer in live streams, I'll say hello to everybody. You know, I try to, you know, I try to really, you know, get to know everybody, but it's not always that easy. For example, right now. Whoa, one second. Let me pick up my head because my head just rolled off. Oh my gosh. There's 249 people watching right now. There's no way I can keep up with the live stream chat. So, of course, I'm doing my best, but you know, Fridays at the beginning of an event, it's really difficult for me to keep up with the live stream chat. So, you know, this isn't necessarily the best time, but if ever, you know, you want to get a little bit more acquainted, definitely, like I mentioned earlier, tune in on Saturday, Sunday, or Mondays. Those live streams are a little bit more calm, and it's a lot easier for me to keep up with the live stream chat, and I really try to answer as many questions as I can. What's up, Richard? Ooh, the man from Mars has arrived. Hey, thank you so much, Richard, for tuning in. So nice to see you, darling. I missed you. I missed everybody, and I hope everybody's doing a great time. Hey, rock on Tanvi. Yas queen. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate it. So here, I haven't been really doing too much gameplay because I've been, uh, you know, doing a little bit of um, technical analysis here. But let's get back to gaming. Happy merging, everybody. Oh, yeah. Hey, sending tons of positive energies out there. I hope everybody's going to be having a fantastic weekend. And, well, I know I'm repeating myself, but just a quick reminder, this is the only live stream today because... I kind of go to bed early, okay? So I'm not going to be doing my late night live stream today, but there's going to be a live stream tomorrow at 2 p.m. There's going to be another live stream Sunday at 2 p.m. And then there's going to be a live stream at Monday from 2.30 p.m. New York time to 3.30 p.m. New York time. Now, you know, I'm not really good at schedules, so I usually tend to go over uh, when it comes to the time amount, but hey, whatever. We're just having more fun. Hey, thank you so much, everybody, everybody for tuning in. I'm sending so much love and positive energies out there. I really appreciate all the peaceful vibes that we've got going on and keep them coming. That's what I love. I love those good energies and I really, really appreciate them. Yes. Ooh, and while I was... Um, talking well our dragon has been busy working it up for us so here we've got a bunch of items that we're going to be able to merge it up with hey Regis, hey everybody hope everybody's having a beautiful day thanks so much for tuning in yas queen if ever you're enjoying the live stream make sure to hit the thumbs up button for the like you don't have to though i mean whatever floats your boat as long as it floats yes and we are doing good here, I'm going to keep harvesting, I think, the Crimson Guardian Dog statue, or Crimson, pardon, the Guardian Lion statue. And we're getting a bunch of great items. What I was really looking for was the drum lamp. Brrr, let's go. We're going to make a five merge with those drum lamps right there. Beautiful. And, oh, here we come. Where's my emerald plains grass at? Let's see. Here we've got a five merge with those tiny life orbs. I'm going to line up a combo, and I want to get two more of those green emerald plains grass. So here, we're going to keep this going, and hopefully that combo bubble is going to help us heal those two pieces of land. Oh, thank you so much, everybody. Hey, I really appreciate it. Hope everybody's having a beautiful day. You all are so kind, and it really means a lot to me. Thank you all for your kindness. You rock my world. I will admit, I missed y'all. Um, you know, I am coming back from a vacation. And um, yeah, it was kind of weird, you know, not 
hanging out with everybody every weekend. Uh, you know, I made a couple videos here and there, but it's just not the same. So thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Here, we've got those Emerald Plains grass. Yes, queen! And we are so close to getting those turtle eggs. Let's see, how are we going to do this over here? Let's get a trio of Lampions. Move that right there. Mm -mm -mm. Interesting. Okay, do we have some more drum lamps? Not enough for a five merge. Okay, so here I'm going to take a second. I'm going to harness, channel my focus and see what the next best move for me is going to be. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So there's a couple things I'm thinking of. Do I take a chance? Do I launch one of these uh, turquoise life orbs? They've got about 64 healing power. So if I launch that near the turtle egg, then I have a good chance of healing it. But you never quite know where the... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my gosh. Well, some things don't change. Sorry about that. A little change of pressure there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should launch a turquoise life orb, heal that turtle dragon egg. But, you know, my luck when I launch those orbs, they never quite go where I want them to. So I've got a little bit of hesitation there. Uh, here we've got... Uh, da, da, da. Oh, what are we going to do? Okay, so here I'm taking a little second to analyze what moves may be waiting for us. Okay, looking real good over here. Eh, well, I don't know why. But I think my gut is telling me to launch the turquoise orb. Before I went on vacation, I was exhausted. So um, I was like definitely, you know, doing my best to keep up. But like, you know, every now and then a girl needs some time off. And Miss Cabby was talking about Toasty, offset your orb. It'll help it go in the right direction. And I was just so zonked, I couldn't do it. But Miss Cabby had a really good tip for us how to offset an orb. So here, I've kind of moved it. It's like on the perimeter. It's real close to healing it. And if we're lucky, this orb is going to go directly onto that turtle dragon. Ooh, okay. Well, we, it did go pretty directly. It split into two though. So it got the healing power on these two tiles. Not exactly what I was going for, but still very good. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Here, let's see. We're going to keep harvesting orbs. We've got a beautiful five merge there. Ooh, we can do a combo right over here. Let's see. We're going to take those tiny orbs. We're going to get this over here. Line up our next combo. Keep it going. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's keep it going, everybody. Yas queen. So here we got that. We're going to line this over here. We're going to drop that essence right there. And that's what I'm talking about. Now we got a combo bubble. And I really like using combo bubbles in the, you know, beginning stages of the event to avoid using the orbs. But every now and then, well, you got to launch an orb. Mm, let's see. Here. Mm, one, two, three. We're going to make a five merge with those purple orbs there. And, well, I'm going to take my chances. I'm going to roll the dice and see if we can't get that turtle dragon egg here. Come on. Okay. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. So the orb totally avoided the egg that we were going for. That's okay. That's a chance that I took. Um, hmm. Let's see. So here, I still want to get that orb, of course. Purple? Okay, let's try this purple. Ooh, okay, that makes some progress. Okay, here, I'm going to take this tiny orb, and hopefully we're going to be able to serve up the next dragon. That was totally inefficient. <laughs> Lull. 
Uh, let's see. Here we've got some more orbs. And not quite what I'm looking for, but I'm going to do my best to get that turtle dragon egg. Yes! Yes, queen! Yes, queen! Here we go! Oh, yeah! And yes, Stephanie, the, uh, the misty cloud right here is the moonflower, if I'm not mistaken. It looks like, you know, those chocolate chips on the side. I believe that's the level five of the forgotten flowers. The moonflower. And... Y'all, queen, I'm so excited. We're about to get our second dragon, the turtle dragon. Patang. Woo! Hey. Hey, Richard. Hey, I'm sorry to hear that, you know, you're feeling a little bit down, but I'm glad to hear you're not out. You know, um, well, without going too much into details, um, it's okay. You know, um, I was uh, having a little bit of a rough time before I went on vacation and, you know, definitely feeling a little bit raw. And, um, you know, sometimes in life, times can be hard and way more challenging than they need to be. But stay strong and keep your chin up because you're amazing. And, you know, when you take the time you need to heal and to rest and recharge your battery, it really, really makes a difference. It might not happen overnight. It usually doesn't. But you just got to take it day by day. And hopefully things will smoothly, smoothly get better over time. I'm sending tons of love and positive energies out there. And if anybody needs a big squishy hug, well, rawr, there it is. Oh, yeah. Hey, stay strong, everybody. Hope everybody's having fun. And I'm sending tons of rainbows and unicorns out there to everyone. Yas, queen. Let's see. Uh, here. Da -da 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 -da. Where's our next merge going to be? Okay, I want to get that emerald plans grass down there. Eh, I'm just going to launch that little orb there. Uh, yes, we got it. Beautiful. So here we got the emerald plains grass. We're going to drop that right there. Yes, beautiful. That's going real good. And we're making some good progress here. Hmm. Where shall we merge next? We've got a Tanzanite Plains grass over here. And if we take a quick look at like the next section of the map here, it's about the area where we get into the 500s. So this little section here makes it a lot more difficult to heal. Um... You know, it's this is kind of the area uh, I've got. Uh, I've been asked the question before. Uh, where do you stop healing when it comes to the beginning of the map? And I guess the answer would be, um, you know, when I really start to focus on those orbs is this 500 section. If I were to, for example, launch a furious life orb, it's got 256 healing power. So it's not going to go too far. Um, you know, here it, it would maybe heal about half of the square there. So I'm going to save my orbs. And this is really where I want to get those life orb of heavens. That's really going to make that healing chip in the map go a lot easier. And then if we look a little bit further... We've got our first level two tree. So here, if I start healing, I'm going to try to avoid that tree. Okay, looking good. Yeah, awesome. So we've made some great progress here. Uh, I'm looking for another merge. And, well, I don't see anything that's like screaming Merge me, merge me. Um, there, we've got those fruit tree saplings. I know I had those earlier. We don't have five of them yet. Oh, there we go. We've got this level four lotus lamp. Here, we're going to be able to make our next merge with those. And if I have any trios, I'll make a five merge. But do we have it? That'll make two more. 
That'll give us four of the trios. Uh, we're a little bit short, so I'm going to be one short to make a combo. So, no stress, we're just going to make a five merge with those lotus flowers. Hey, Ditch Digger, good afternoon! Hey, what's going on? Hey, thanks so much everybody for tuning in. Hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Yeah, and I love the rainbows and unicorns. Sending tons of love and positive energies out there to everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Looks like Claire AR has to run, but it was such a pleasure to see you, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow, darling. Glad you had fun, and it warms up my heart to see that your day has been brightened up. Yeah. Hope to see you tomorrow, darling. Have a great night. Take care. Have a great time with your family. Send in tons of love and positive energies. Um, when it comes to uh, this live stream, right now, of course, I've gone over the 60 minutes. And, well, I still have a little bit of energy. So we're going to keep going. You know, I've probably got another 20 minutes uh, for, for reels in my tank here. And we're going to keep merging it up a little bit. I mentioned earlier that we're going to have a little Q&A session, so why not? Let's take this moment. I still have a little bit of work to do with my life flowers, so I'm going to keep merging those, but let's see if there's any questions I might have not answered yet. What's up, everybody? Oh, hey, Jules. Yeah. Hey, I missed everybody as well. It's so nice to be back. Um, you know, I, I will admit it, I did need a vacation, you know. Um, I'd basically been, uh, you know, working every day for the past two years. And I mean, long term, that's not the healthiest lifestyle. So, yeah, January, uh, I mentioned earlier, was all about recharging. And one thing that uh, is really important in, you know, I've had insomnia in certain stages of my life. So, um, you know, one thing to help prevent my insomnia is to really be on a schedule. So, you know, I do my best to go to bed around, uh, you know, 9, 10 p.m. every evening, uh, you know. So having that structured schedule, it's like I've been programming my body to, oh, you know, it's getting near, air quotes, bedtime. So, you know, th my body has kind of gotten programmed to going to bed. Um, of course, some nights that's like, forget it, you know, insomnia hits and eh, but you just got to take it one day at a time and really have, uh, you know, sometimes you have a little bit of a, an experiment. You'll try technique. It doesn't work for you. So we're all different. And that makes the beauty of the world. You know, um, we're not all the same and it's OK. Uh, I've learned so much from everybody here. You know, I've been gaming uh, Merge Dragons for over two years now and I'm still learning new stuff from people. So I really appreciate everybody sharing their tips with me. And thank you so much. And yeah, I won't go too long. Don't worry. Um, I told myself I had like, a, you know, an hour. Eh, hour and a half, maybe two hours, but two hours would be kind of stretching it. So we've got a good 20 minutes left to go. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, definitely, Ashtor. It's also surrounding yourself with awesome friends helps as well. Couldn't be better said. Um, Ashtoreth, I definitely tuned into a couple of the couple of your live streams while I was on vacation just because I missed, you know, hearing your voice. I will admit I was kind of lurking because I wasn't really feeling chatty, but it was nice to, you know, be there with everybody and, you know, see, you know, um, you know, the home girls having a good time and merging it up and, you know, positive energy is contagious. So thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, Nids. Ooh, one blue life flower away from the five merge. Hey, keep it going, darling. You're crushing it. Ooh, DK. DK says you discovered forgetting to take your vitamin D was in, uh, interfering with your sleep schedule. Interesting. Yeah. Um, you know, what, what is it? Mid-November to mid-March, at least uh, where I live in Canada, the sun is too far away for you to absorb the vitamin D that we naturally get from the sun. So vitamin D 
can be helpful, but I'm not a doctor and I'm actually far from being a doctor. So, um, you know, whenever it comes to, you know, taking vitamin D or melatonin and everything, maybe ask uh, either your pharmacist in advance to see if it may be interfering with any other, you know, uh, health uh, situations that you might be in or, um, you know, any medications that you may already be on. They can be really helpful if it's the right thing for you. So no worries about that. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves and it, you know, it, like I said earlier, it's all about experimenting. You really got to, uh, you know, find what works for you. And what might work for me might not work for you. But, you know, it's through discovering that stuff that you find, you know, the right things for you. And I mean, I haven't found all the solutions in the world. Sometimes people ask me, Toasty, what's the meaning of life? And, you know, I don't know. I wish I knew. But, I think that the meaning of life is different to all of us. So, you know, for me, you know, family is really important. And, you know, like Foxy, my girlfriend, I'm really lucky to have such an amazing girlfriend who is there for me and supports me all the time. And that when I'm feeling down and, you know, eh, you know, not at my best, I can lean on her. Of course, I'm not going to be like hanging on for dear life because, I mean, she's got to take care of herself too. But, it, you know, I'm really lucky. So you're probably not listening because I know you're busy working, but I love you, Foxy. And, um, you know, uh, it's really, I really appreciate her. And it was nice to have a vacation, spend some time together. Uh, we kind of like, you know, made an adult pillow for in our living room and had a good time, binge watch, maybe too much Netflix, but we don't really do that often. So it was really nice. And then we were like, okay, well, you know, maybe this is something that we could do. So we've been eating as healthy as we can. You know, I always mention, make sure you're staying hydrated, make sure you're eating a healthy diet and taking care of yourself. And it's really the fuel that's going to make you a better gamer. Ooh, okay, so, you know, me, sometimes I get swept into the universe. Uh, I was just rambling away, but I still believe in what I said. So uh, here we've got a couple questions. When should you go ahead and do a three merge rather than a five merge? Hmm, that's a tough one. It really depends. Uh, what, if I'm going to do a three merge, I'm going to make sure I do the math first to make sure it doesn't stumble. It doesn't, you know, come and mess up my game later on. So that's really a case by case scenario. Um, Haley asks, do you know if there are any hidden mystic clouds? Good question. So far, I don't know. We've unlocked, what, two mystic clouds so far? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, did I count that? Oh my gosh. So counting, <laughs> lol. Okay, so we had two that we unlocked already. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So normally in Merge Dragons events, there's 15 Mystic Clouds. So unless there's a change, there shouldn't be any hidden Mystic Clouds. Let's see here. During my little ramble there, I missed a couple questions. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to Merge Dragons, one of the best tips I can recommend is five merges. When you make a three merge, it gives you one item. If you make a five merge, it gives you two items. So instead of doing a three merge and a three merge, which requires six items, you can also do a five merge, which will give you two items as well. So there, in the long run, you're saving yourself an item and it really pays off. It's like an exponential, an exponential value that we have. Let's see. So here I'm catching up with the live stream chat. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, huh, in 
interesting. Okay, Mirage. Huh. Hey, well, don't worry about it. Um, very interesting. I hope that your move goes well the next month, sending tons of positive energies. Oh, looks like Tanvi's heading off. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in, Tanvi. It was so nice to see you. Have a beautiful day, and I hope to see you again sometime this weekend. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Catching up here. Uh, is my microphone fuzzy? Ah. Uh. Darn, there is a little bit of fuzz maybe in the microphone. Sorry about that. Um, uh, well, there's nothing I can do about it now, so I'm just going to keep going. But I guess my, my microphone might have a little bit of fuzz on it. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's a little static thing. I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe peanut chewed on my, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe peanut chewed on my headphone wire while I was on vacation. So there might be a little bit of static here. I'll have to check that out and hopefully uh, we'll be able to fix that before the live stream tomorrow. Sorry about it. Uh, let's see here catching up. What's the best way to get life orbs? Passive harvesting is definitely a great technique. Um, there's the passive harvesting. There's also the Madeline K harvesting technique, which Dee just shared the link with. So um, very, very uh, good techniques there that in my personal opinion are game changers. Uh, let's see. Hey, Felicia, how's it going? Hey, Sally, welcome, everybody. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, Marcy. Marcy just shared the emojis of my little cat, Peanut. She's the most adorable creature ever, but for some reason, she loves chewing on wires that she's not supposed to chew on. And, well, I must have forgotten them uncovered or something, and she was up to mischief, but it's okay. She's really cute, so she can basically get away with anything. Hey, take care, little lazy death. Hey, thanks, darling. Have a beautiful day. See you again soon. Yas, queen. Ooh, yeah. Hey, Felicity. Awesome. You've been using the uh, bubbling technique with the apples, uh, the Marcus V technique, the how to bubble anything technique. Definitely a game changer for sure. Awesome. Hey, looking good, everybody. And I'm loving those good vibes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey, thank you so much, everybody. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Hey, looking good, everybody. So here, I'm going to get back into these merges. I've let my dragons go, and they've been harvesting. Now, I've got blue life flowers, and I've got glowing life flowers. So, you know, what is passive harvesting? Honestly, this is kind of a term that I invented. Um, uh, it, it's, well, I mean, the term passive already existed. You know, I, I didn't create a word. But um, there's, you know, for example, in life, there's active. Um, how, do we, how do we make a metaphor here? There's like, you know, active income in life. So active income is, uh, you know, where, for example, like the live stream I'm doing right now. I'm doing a live stream. I'm actively working. And, um, you know, another thing is like uh, I used to work in a gas station or a bookstore. Um, you know, that I was actively working for an active income. Um, Foxy, she introduced this concept to me that was passive income and when she said that I was like girl that sounds like the thing in my dreams but does that really exist and ooh, did she ever change my life so active is where let's do a merge dragons comparison so active harvesting is where I'm going to be double tapping actively on the the life flowers here I'm actively telling my dragons what to do I'm saying 
harvest that glowing life flower and get me those orbs, honey. When I was having my little ramble earlier, okay, I was passively harvesting. So I wasn't actually doing anything, but my dragons were all harvesting. So they were passively harvesting. So passive harvesting is a great technique to get you some extra orbs without, you know, exhausting you too much. So if you haven't seen my video about passive harvesting, it's definitely one that's worth checking out for sure. It could save you a lot of time, a lot of effort, and, you know, hopefully it'll help you in your gameplay as well. Of course, passive harvesting isn't going to get you the rewards on its own. You still have to do active harvesting. And one of the best, you know, kind of techniques I like to do is here. I'm actively harvesting. I'm going to be actively harvesting, you know, for the beginning live stream. Then I'm going to go take a break. I'm still going to leave my game on, though. So my dragons are going to continue to passively harvest. The only thing is right now, I've still got that blue life flower. So it's a little bit distracting. I want my dragons to be getting the highest level orbs. So let's see if I can't demonstrate how to do that right here. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup with the orbs. Uh, let's see. Ooh, my dragons did some good work while I was talking. Here we've got a five merge there. Five merge right there. And when it, come to, when it comes to merges, I like to make either five or ten merges. I like to stick with that multiple of five. So there we had a ten merge. That's looking real good. Here, ooh, we got a couple purple orbs. No, 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 no. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Where's our next purple orb? We got a five merge with those. Mm, three. That might be a 20 merge. Ooh, okay. Here we go. 10 merge right there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Here, we're going to go ahead and merge those purple orbs. Get a little bit of combo going on. And we are getting some awesome progress here. Next up, I want to keep healing the map. So we're going to try to make as much space as we can for that passive harvesting. So... Uh, when you don't have too much space and you're trying to passive harvest, the map tends to get full pretty quickly. Uh, let's see. We've got those four uh, fruit tree saplings there. I want to get one more. So ooh, let's get some more harvesting going on. Let's see. Five merge. That's a ten merge if I counted correctly. Uh, five... Is that maybe a 20 merge? I don't know. My map, my math might be a little bit rusty, but that's a 10 merge. Oh, yeah, honey. Here we go. So we are cruising through this. Check this out. Here we've got those turquoise orbs. It's looking good. Here, we're going to go ahead and drop that right there. Beautiful. Oh, and uh, tiny orbs. Patsang. There we go. Here we got this. We've got that there. Oh, ooh. Okay, so here, if I drop that right there, what's going to happen is it's going to absorb the other orbs. I don't really want a combo right there, so I'm going to move that orb, make, ooh, clumsy thumbs. I was going for a five merge, but I stumbled a little bit along the way. It's okay, though. So here, we're doing great. We got that going on. Where's the next merge we can do? So I was talking about getting to the passive harvesting moment. What I would like to do is to get those twin life flowers. So I'm either going to make a three merge with the glowing life flowers to get one twin life flower, or I'm going to make a five merge. Ideally, we're going to make a five merge here. So what we're going to be looking for is the sprouts. So we've got a couple more merges. I'm a little short on life flowers. We're going to be looking for those sprouts so we can keep on building up our life flowers. Let's see. Perfect. Here we got a five merge with those tiny orbs. We can bring those purple orbs together. Drop a combo right there. Buttes McGee. Ah, uh, dun, dun, dun. Here we got a great heel there. We can make a five merge with the sprouts over here. 
So now we've got some additional pink life flowers. And, hmm. So here we got a couple more merges on the perimeter that we can make. And I really want to go for the most strategic merge. Ooh, and I think I found it. Here we've got a Ruby Plains grass. Remember what I said earlier about when you make a four merge, you get a leftover? That's really cool with the Plains grass. Here, we've got the Life Flower Sprout. We got that there, and we've got a leftover Ruby Plains grass. So if I can make some more four merges, I'm going to be healing the map, and I'll have that extra uh, Ruby Plains grass left over. So like right there, four merge. And where's our next four merge? Hmm. Okay, I don't see any other four, four merges. So at this point, I'm just going to go for a three merge right there. And moving on. Here we've got our Tanzanite Plains grass. Mm, do we have any four merges with the Tanzanite? Well, if we don't, that's okay. Uh, yeah, I don't see any other uh, four merges with the Tanzanite. But, ooh, I want to get that Emerald Plains grass. I forgot about that move earlier. Let's see. That's a 10. That's a 10. 10, 10, uh, 50. Oh, okay. That's a lot of healing power there. So here, I'm going to take my combo bubble. I'm going to try to get our next Emerald Plains grass. And maybe if we're lucky, we're going to be able to make another combo. Use that combo bubble and heal ourselves another Emerald Plains grass. Yes. There we go. So here, we're going to drop that right there. And, uh, yeah, sometimes it doesn't always go where you want it to. Let's see. Uh, five, nine. Okay, that makes ten there. We got a five merge over here. Five merge over here. And we're going to drop that right there. We got the essence. And, who? yes, we are using it. Here we got those tiny orbs there. We're going to make another combo. Beautiful. So I'm working on my orbs. And... I'm using those combo bubbles to help me get some progress right now. Hmm. I don't want to launch any orbs because it's just not going to be the most efficient thing long term. Mm, let's see. Here, uh, let's try to get another life essence. So I'm going to come down here, harvest those lower level life flowers there. I'm going to grab this essence here. And that's going to make a beautiful combo there. We're going to bring this down here. Pop that. Meh. Okay, not the biggest heal, but we're making progress. And, I mean, the grand goal of this is to get more life flower sprouts. So let's group these cuties together. We've got four life flower sprouts there. With this, that'll make a five merge. Awesome. Ooh, and, okay, life flowers. Uh, or... Forgotten flowers. I always forget about the life flowers, uh, the forgotten flowers. So um, when it comes to the forgotten flowers here, we've got the twin flowers right there. I got to get my hands on them twin flowers. Let's see. Where is the, we got a twin flower there. We got a twin flower there. Okay, let's get those twin flowers. And we've got two of them over here. Okay, perfect. There's also that bushy autumn tree, which is the Mystic Cloud Key right there. So let's see. Here, I'm going to roll the dice, and hopefully it's going to give us that spice we're looking for. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. We got the twin flower. That's a Mystic Cloud Key. We got the bushy autumn tree. That's a Mystic Cloud Key. So that would be a very smart place to maybe launch one of these Furious Life Orbs. A Furious Life Orb will heal about five of the uh, 50 squares. So I think that's where I'm going to go next. I'm going to drop that Furious Life Orb and I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for the bushy autumn tree and the twin 
forgotten flowers, the twin flowers over here. Hey, and I got to say a huge thank you, Richard. Loving that super chat emoji. Sending tons of rainbows and unicorns your way. Thank you so much. Hey, hope you're having a beautiful day. And thank you, my man from Mars. You are out of this world. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Woo. Hey, are you ready? Let's launch this orb. Three, two, one. Patang. Oh, yeah. And come on, come on, come on. Ooh, we didn't get the bushy autumn tree. But hey, what's up, girl? We got the twin flowers. So I'm going to take these beautiful purple flowers here. A little screenshot for the website, toastyboutique.com. And here we just unlocked our third mystic cloud. Yes. So we just got the uh, twin flowers to unlock that. We got a sprout there. And, ooh, I'm still being called. Well, not literally, but, like, I've got a calling to get the bushy autumn tree. So here, we're going to make some combos. And I'm going to try to use the combo bubbles to give me that extra boost to heal the bushy autumn tree. And not too shabby there. Oh, hey, what's up? And we just finished our 150th five merge. Now... Our next quest, like I mentioned in the teaser video, is going to be to create the Sensuous Swan Lamp. This is the level 7 point item. So, we've got that there. It's not going to be something we're going to complete today. So, I'm just going to take it nice and slowly. We'll eventually get to that either tomorrow or on Sunday. Here, this bamboo shrub. That's the item that I don't want to merge too soon. And, well... I think I'm going to launch that orb. Ooh, close, so close, but not quite. We got 49 out of 50, and there it is. Here, we just got the bushy autumn tree, our next Mystic Cloud key. Here, I'm going to take a little screenshot there. As soon as this live stream's over, I'm going to run to the bathroom, and then I'm going to work on the cloud key guide. That, I make it for every Merge Dragons event, and... It can help you in kind of seeing what the uh, cloud keys are ahead of time so that you can avoid any accidental merges and, you know, to ensure that you get all the rewards so you can unlock all the mystic clouds. Awesome. Beautiful. Oh, let's see. So what's our next merge going to be? Oh, here. There was a pink life flower behind that mystic cloud. Love it. We're going to bring those pink life flowers together there. Uh, we've got two glowing life flowers. We've got three blue life flowers. Ooh, I still got some work to do. Let's see. Earlier, I was mentioning I'm either going to do a three merge or a five merge of the glowing life flowers. Prefer uh, preferably, I'd like to do a five merge, but if I don't have the life flowers, eh, I'll just go for the three merge. Hmm. So let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Where's our next move going to be here? Uh, you know, there's nothing really urgent to do. Of course, I got a little bit of cleanup. Like here, we can merge those orbs. Merge those orbs there. Here, we got these purple light, uh, purple orbs there. Uh, ooh, combo. Hello. Here, I'm going to line up those orbs. We're going to try to get a little bit of a combo going on right there. Patang. Beautiful. So that's going great. I still want those Emerald Plains grass. I haven't managed to get those just yet. So I'm going to do a little bit of healing there. And, hmm, it's kind of a hot mess right now. Um... Well, I mean, time's a ticking. It's, oh my gosh, it's already 440. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to begin to wrap this up. I got a couple life flower sprouts, but it's not really enough to get me where I want to go. So even though I'd rather do a five merge, I'm just going to do a three merge there. And now we got our twin life flower. Now that we got this life flower, we're only going to be getting the tiny life orbs. And I don't have any blue or pink life flowers left on my map so 
are dragons, they aren't going to get distracted with the lower level life flowers. They're going to be harvesting this twin life flower, which is the highest level life flower I have at the moment. Yeah. Beautiful. So that's looking great here. Um, and like I said, we're going to have a little Q&A. So there's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, there's, uh, you know, uh, brain fart. Um, there's still a lot of cleanup I can do here, but I'm just going to um, start to wrap up this live stream. So if there's any questions, let me know what's going on. And gotta say a huge thank you to the moderators. You rock. Thank you for helping, helping filter out all the spam and everything. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Elle. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Janet. Thank you so much, everybody. You're crushing it. Oh, yeah. Let's see. So, yeah, if you have any questions, this is the time to ask. Maria has a question. Hey, welcome to your first live stream. Thank you so much for joining. Maria has a question. You know the wonders. If your wonder timer is on 10 seconds and you leave your camp, will it restart? No. Um, I think what you meant instead of seconds was 10 hours. So like, for example, I mean, uh, I've been, uh, you know, in my camp a bit. They're on a 10 hour timer, the wonders. When you leave your camp, they're not going to restart. They're just put on pause. Hopefully that answers that there. Uh... Awesome. Let's see what the next question is. Uh, um, yes, D, peace is so important to us. Absolutely. Uh, Laura says the other Pinkberry autumn tree is behind the mystical autumn tree. Hey, thank you, Laura, for the heads up. OP asks, how do you become a moderator? Um, how do you become a moderator? Well, to become a moderator, basically, I kind of just selected the people that um, I had built a relationship with uh, over the past uh, two years and that I knew, um, you know, had the concept of peaceful vibes. Uh, so if you want to become a moderator, um, you know, there's not really anything to do. Um, I've kind of selected all of my moderators there, you know, so uh, there's nothing really you can do to become a moderator. It, you know, it's just kind of something that happens with time. Technically, I mean, long story short, um, there was a moment where I was moving, I didn't have internet, and I was literally live streaming, sitting in my car in the parking lot at my mom's place. So I was, um, you know, live streaming, I didn't really have the best setup, I was live streaming from my car, um, you know, I was trying to watch the live stream chat on a phone, but I couldn't read anything. So I quickly selected, I was like, okay, these people are here. Um, I, you know, feel like they'd make great moderators. And I just made a bunch of people moderators. So, um, I mean, if you want to be a moderator, you can ask me, but I'm not really um, looking for mo more moderators at the moment. Um, you know, uh, if you're new, and I've never seen you before, you're not going to be a moderator. It's like, you know, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a thing that's earned. Being a moderator is a privilege. Um, for example, today, I can't always keep up with the live stream chat. So the moderators have been, do been doing a great job at keeping, you know, some peace and order. Um, you know, uh, I'm really into respect. Respect is a huge thing for me. So uh, being a moderator helps kind of filter through the live stream spam that can happen. And um, it's a privilege. So, you know, if somebody doesn't want to be a moderator, for example, there, you know, there was somebody that they, they didn't want to be a moderator. I had made them a moderator. So I, you know, removed it because they didn't want the stress of it. And it isn't meant to be stressful. It's just meant 
to um, help keep the things flowing nice and smoothly and peacefully. But yeah, if you know you you've been on my live streams for a while and we've kind of gotten to know each other, you can always ask me to be a moderator. But like I said, um, I'm not really looking for moderators at the moment. I'm pretty happy with uh, the moderators the moderators that we have. But I mean, it doesn't mean that you know it, it it's kind of a you know it, I don't even know. Uh, it's a go with the flow kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I think I'm spending a little too long on this question. Let's see what the next question is. Hopefully that was clear. Um, has anyone figured out, is it safe to do a three merge with the bushy autumn trees? Great question, Allison. Is it safe to do a three merge with the autumn trees? I'm going to catch up with the live stream chat here. Um, we've got no's, we've got yeses. Uh, I don't know if it is safe. Laura says, yes, it's safe. Uh, oh, cool. Okay, awesome. Looking good. Hey, Cassandra. Hey, thanks so much for joining. What's up, Australia? Hey, hope you're having a beautiful morning. I think it's early morning in Australia right now. So good morning, darling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, rock on. Oh, thank you so much, Ashtoreth Gamings. Hey, quick reminder, um, if ever, um, if anybody wants to see another live stream today, um, Ashtoreth Gamings is going to be live streaming on Twitch. She usually starts live streaming around 5.30, 6 p.m. New York time. So you can always tune in to follow along with Ashtoreth. She's awesome. She's got those good vibes. And... Um, you know, I always love, uh, I always enjoy uh, watching her live streams. So you can always check out her live streams. Thank you so much, Ashtoreth, for tuning in. Hey, take care too. Sending tons of peace and love to you and your family. Yeah. And yeah, you can always share your tags if ever you're looking for more friends in the game. Um, when it comes to friends, unfortunately, my friends are full, so I can't add any more friends even if I wanted to. There's like a maximum of a thousand and one friends that you can have in the game. And unfortunately, I am maxed out there. Mm, let's see. Yeah, it looks like we need the fancy autumn tree. Hey, thanks so much, Larissa. Yeah, things are going good. Yeah. Hey, I'm about to wrap this up. I'm a little bit more tired than I was in the beginning, but having a great time. And yeah, exactly, V. Um, v mentions, you can also add your code on my website. I've got a page on my website. There's the Merge Dragons friend codes. There's also the Merge Magic friend codes. So you can always go to my webpage of, uh, you know, if you go to toastyboutique.com, top right corner, there's going to be a search bar. There you can go type Merge Dragons friend codes, and then that'll bring you the link to uh, where you can put friend codes. And uh, there you'll find a bunch of friend codes that have been added. Um, you can add people there and you can also post your friend code um, on my website. Uh, just to avoid any spamming, uh, I have to approve all comments. So if you don't see your code pop up right away, it's just because I haven't approved it yet. So just be patient. Uh, I'm getting back from vacation. I'm still catching up with all my comments and everything. And thank you so much for the love, everybody. Stephanie, I accidentally blocked someone. Uh, accidents happen. That's okay. I didn't see it. Um... Mm, I think everything's okay. Accidents do happen, though. So, like, uh, you know, uh, if ever somebody... Oh, okay. I read that wrong. So, I... <laughs> Hey, Cindy. Hey, what's up, Cindy? Oh, thank you so much. Yas Queen. Yeah. Hey. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Thanks, Cindy. 
Hey, thank you so much, Kelly. Have a great night too, darling. Yeah. Janet says, out of the 15 cloud keys, there are six keys behind them. You can do three merges for all of the 15 cloud keys. Okay, so that answers, it's safe to do a three merge. No stress there. Hey, Laura. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hey, looking good. Here, we're catching up with the live stream chat. Let's see. Hey, thanks, everybody. Thank you, V. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, I read that wrong. Sorry, darling. <laughs> hmm. Hey, thank you, L. Thank you so much. Oh, no worries. It's all good. Hey, thank you, V. Thanks, everybody. Uh, let's see. Were there any other questions that I may not have answered? Do you know where all the cloud keys are or where you can find them? Well, as soon as this live stream's over, like I mentioned, I'm going to go work on the cloud key guide on my website. If it was finished, that's the link I would share with you, but it's not finished yet. So real quick, we can go over the Mystic Clouds. First, we used a life essence to unlock the first Mystic Cloud key. Then we used the pink life flower, the level two of the life flowers. Just a second ago, we used the twin flower level three to unlock the next Mystic Cloud key. We also used the level four bushy autumn tree here. When it comes to the forgotten flowers, uh, we're also going to be needing the level five moon flower. That beautiful forgotten flower will be right there that we're going to use it to unlock that Mystic Cloud key. Oh, over here, that is the three graces. So when it comes to the forgotten flowers, that's the level four. Perfect. Uh, here we've got, of course, the golden capsule, the fallen star, the mystery nest. Those are at the end of the map. And right here, we've got the happy panda lamp. That's the level eight point item. So here we've got that happy panda lamp right there. Level eight point item. We'll be getting that later on. Uh, if we keep moving, uh, this is the smallest temple in the world. That's the level 10 of the ancient objects. I haven't seen them yet, but we'll be discovering them eventually. Uh, right here, that looks like the broken columns. The broken columns is going to be the mystic cloud over here to unlock that. Over here, we've got the mystical autumn tree. When it comes to the autumn trees, we're going to need the level four bushy autumn tree that we unlocked earlier. The level need the level seven fancy autumn tree. The mystical goes right there, and the fancy autumn tree goes right there. Uh, when you get the broken columns, I don't remember what level those are, level seven, level eight. You got the broken columns. That'll unlock this mystic cloud there. Here, you've got the golden columns, and then here, last but not least, the smallest temple in the world. So that covers the mystic clouds there. Not too shabby. And we're going to wrap this up. It's time for me to go, unfortunately. I have had so much fun chatting with everybody. I know I wasn't that present in the chat, but we'll be doing better at being present in the live stream chat tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see y'all tomorrow at 2 p.m. New York time. We're going to be having a blast. Um, yeah, if you subscribe to Toasty Gamer Boutique, you can hit the bell for notifications if you want to be, uh, you know, uh, notified when the live streams begin. But if you have your YouTube notifications turned off, you might not get the notification. So make sure you hit that bell, turn on your YouTube notifications, and stay tuned. Otherwise, 2 p.m. New York time, I will be there, and I can't wait. Yeah. Hey, Candy. Hey, hey, Laura. Thanks. Yeah, looking good, everybody. Thanks, Felicity. Mm. Let's see here. I'm catching up real quick with the live stream chat. Looking good, everybody. Oh, thank you so much, V. Have a wonderful day or evening too, darling. Hey, take care. Thank you so much.
Thank you, Felicity. Or yeah, thank you, Felicity. Thank you, V. Thank you so much, V. A. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks, Merging Magpies. Thank you, Cindy. Have a great Friday as well. Hey, thank you so much, Marcy. See you later, darling. Maybe we'll see each other in Ashtoreth's live stream. Otherwise, I hope to see you again sometime this weekend. Thank you so much, Marcy. Oh, thank you, Dee. Have a great night, too. Hey, definitely going to give a little hug to Foxy and Peanut once this is over. Thanks, Dee. Hey, thank you, Candy. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Monkey. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> the live stream's going fast. I can't keep up with the chat. Oh, thank you so much, Richard. Talk ta for now, darling. Hope to see you again tomorrow or sometime this weekend. Yeah, Marcy, I'll do my best to tune in. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, so glad you had fun. And I'm glad to be back, too. I missed y'all. It's nice. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Haley. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Key. Thanks, everybody. Oh, thank you so much, Diane's positive energies. Glad to be back as well. Hey, thank you so much, darling. Thank you, Janet. Hey, you're so sweet, Janet. Thank you, darling. Hey, can't wait to see you next time. Thanks so much. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Jules. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, S'mores. Thank you, Sally. Thanks, Latonia. Or Latonia, pardon my pronunciation. Hey, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Christy. Yeah. Hey, thanks, everybody. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Angel. Thanks, Arthur. Thanks, everybody. Hey, have a beautiful day. I'm sending tons of love and positive energies out there. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Take it easy. And hopefully we'll be able to merge it up together in tomorrow's live stream. I'll probably be releasing a short video later on. So there's probably going to be another video today. But like I mentioned, there's not going to be another live stream. Taking it slowly. Hey, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Stella. Thank you, Colleen. Thank you, D. Thanks, Op. Thanks, everybody. Hey, thanks, Janet. Thanks so much, everybody. Hey, well, you know how it goes. This is the moment where I'm saying bye to everybody. So, you know, those people that were like, hey, give me a shout out. This is the time to say bye to me and I'll say bye to you. You got about 30 seconds left because I got to go to the bathroom and well, yeah. So thank you so much, everybody. Hey, thank you, love. Thanks, Janet. Thank you, everyone. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Um, there is the previous Chinese New Year event that we had um, in uh, January of uh, in uh, January of uh, 2020. So you can always watch the Year of the Rat event. There's a playlist for the Year of the Rat event, and um, you will. Um, always be able to watch that it's a little bit different though so you can go back and watch that hey adik hey bye thank you so much uh just a quick reminder um you know technically if you're 11 years old you shouldn't be on youtube youtube's age minimum is 13 with parents approval so I know that sucks for kids because I know what it was like being a kid and you're lost in the world and you're looking for, you know, where do I go in life? So it's a little tricky, but it's for your protection. So um, sorry, kids, but this is a channel that is made for adults. If you're a kid and you want to watch the live streams, I always recommend ask your parents to watch along with you. Sometimes... I might say a weird joke and you might not understand it. And um, it's always best if you have a parent along to watch with you because I do not make videos for kids. These videos are made for adults, although I do my best to keep it kid friendly because I know that, you know, sometimes kids are going to watch. So, you know, but still, um, you know, the eh, anywho, you know what I mean? Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, D. Thank you, Felicity. Thank you, Funk Arts. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Rowan. 
Thank you, Stephanie. Have a great day too, darling. See you tomorrow and be safe. I know there's a lot of snow out there in the world. So if ever you got to drive or something in the snow, be safe. Leave earlier. Make sure you got plenty of time and take it slow. Um, the other day I went to the grocery store and I mean, the speed limit is 50 and I was rolling it about 20 just because the conditions weren't good at all. So if ever, you know, you, you got to drive in the snow, make sure to take your precautions. It's better to go slowly and safely. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe and have fun. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you, Chrissy. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, the Cloud Key Guide should be available in about 30 minutes if my internet isn't too slow. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks, everybody. Thanks, Feha. Oh, thank you, D. Thanks, Panther City Paula. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Stephanie. Hey, thank you so much, everybody. Well, that's a wrap. Namaste. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. Tried to hold it in, but anyways. Thanks, Leona. Thanks, Felicia. Oh, thank you, D. Thank you, everybody. Namaste. Namaste. go. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy. See you soon. Peace.